Good morning. Welcome to this morning's trading session. It's a little earlier than normal. I'm trying to not wake up before 10.30 every day. And do the uh, seven, seven o'clock time frames for uh, these trading videos. So starting with the pound franc, we just gotta move up, waiting for the breakout. Euro continues just lower. Waiting for that to turn around. Da, 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 the pound. It's finally making that move. <clears throat> what the? Hold up. Why is this wrong? Because that shouldn't actually be there. That's why. Because there's no up move, down move, up move. That's why that shouldn't be there. That's just the up move. Oh, wait, there's some strength for the Let's see what they can see in the dollar, dude. Oh, finally gave us uh, an up move. have down move the close so we'll actually have like this yes so there we go good afternoon well it'll probably be too late to be honest Looks like maybe this is an area. Probably have to take it next week though because I'm gonna shut down these trades. Looks like if I didn't cancel these already, they should be canceled. They are canceled. Because that is definitely gonna be job trend. It could have been, I could have put it back up um, after this, this move, but it, it made it's down, it came high on the curve, it, it's a downtrend now, so it doesn't like doesn't even matter. Now we just look for the short opportunities. The dollar franc. Kind of the same thing. Wishing I could take it long. Because it's going to be the uptrend, but it's also high on the curve. So. Just got to delete the orders. wait for hopefully can get higher on the curve and then show some weakness that we can get in so that we have the room to take it down <clears throat> so we got a dollar franc as a no entry pointer So I'm gonna do this morning session. See if we can find. See if we can find anything that we could probably maybe get into before the uh, afternoon session kicks in. Yeah. See maybe something we can hold over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Looks like the dollar yen might have punched through. Sixty-eight, sixty-eight, forty. So I'm gonna that broken. Like, see, I'm gonna take this because that is pointing right to there. So it is still high on the curve. 
And realistically, until, until we get a close of the day leap up here. But, it's just, look at that. It's just shitty. How do you fucking trade that? It's like an area of demand. It's just so big. So, this might have to stay till next week. Like, this might be the area of the level. But, anyways. We'll see. Here's zero yen. Oh, we got our lovely little breakout. But a time occurred again. <sighs> yeah, this could be a level. That's probably a decent level. Oh well. It makes me kind of think, like, what if we took this on the 15 minute chart? Oh, we could have because it's still high on the curve. Dude, I was just kind of seeing, just, just looking. <sighs> Look at that one to close above there. We could have an opportunity to pound yen for next week. Close is four, five, nine, five. Which is not higher than 4,600. Ah, my legs are super sore from like day yesterday or the other day. Look at that. Got a break out here. As far as levels, we got this. That. what I would look at on here. For this one, probably stop below. Well, I'd like to stop below this wick, but I don't know if that would even be possible. I'd use the standard stop right there. But I'm not going to take this quite yet. I don't want to see, just like the other trade, if I can put it on before it gets high in the curve. So, probably won't be put on this week. I'll be the next week thing, probably. Oh, geez, look at that. See? Look at that. See your rules? Bam, close blow, kept us out of a loss. That's important. Since this is all used up, I'd probably have to take this right up here. There we go. This demand's probably moved to... In fact, it has not. <clears throat> Look at that. Get the breakout and close above the upside.
Yeah, no profit margin on that though. The one, the best we can squeeze out. Hello, you know for me, dog. I don't know if I said this. I think my interview went well yesterday. They were tough. John and John were their names, which was kind of nice, because then I couldn't forget them. But, uh, yeah, they were definitely tougher than the Estimator. The Estimator was pretty chill. These guys were, like, superintendents, though, so they're in charge of projects and stuff. So they were, they grilled me a little bit. Kind of messed up. They were like, well... You know, they're like, well, why do you want to be an electrician? I told them that it's a really clear path. Like, I always have something to work to. I want to make $60,000 a year in five to ten years and, like, learn a skill that I can apply and be in a leadership role. He's like, why do you want to be in a leadership role? And I'm like, it's just kind of where I guess, like, I, 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 and I don't really mess up, but it, it's confusing. So I was like, well, because then I can do things my way. And the guy was like, <laughs> like, immediately he was like, what do you mean by my way? And I'm like, oh, shit. That's not what I mean. So I explained to him, like, my principles, leadership, and stuff. And he asked me about that. And I think it, it, it kind of made sense. I asked him at the end, too. I'm like, well, you know, based on this, what do you guys think of me? And, uh, and they told me, like, yeah, we like everything. Except the one red flag was, like, the my way thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, that's that's not exactly what I meant. It, it came out, like, and they're like, yeah, you know, we figured... So, they were cool. Hopefully I can get it. They're going to give me a call or shoot me an email on by Wednesday. They said they've been pretty good about it. So, so this one, this one's going to be canceled for me for now. It's because it's counter trend. I just don't really think there's going to be anything to trade today. Okay. This trade, this is, this is going to work. Completely counter trend now. It's this, this is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for this, this red box. Go like that and get a close blow to put that one back on, but nope. Now we just gotta wait for it to break out. Below there. Get a close blow there, and then we can look to take an opportunity up in here and whatever would be there. I think my plan is today to play a lot of StarCraft and to go to the gym and make my make the cancellation video or the chart reset video I should say. If this no shit works, that would be insanity. This hasn't closed yet, so it doesn't doesn't count. Not yet. So that's it. That is it. Basically, probably for the week. No trades uh, are up right now. So we'll probably just have to wait till next week. I'll make the uh, cancellation video later. I cancel. I keep saying that. The chart reset video later today. Probably around like 
towards the end of the day, it's like 3, 3.30. That's a pretty easy video to make. It's just click, delete, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. So that way we can have fresh charts when we look at things on uh, Saturday instead of the curve. Because that, that video will definitely be there. <laughs> so, yeah, have a great day, and I will, uh, I'll see everybody later. Uh, before I go, if you're on to YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get these videos as they come out. Um, if you like what I do, I guess here, especially if you're an OTA student and you need help understanding core strategy, you can get these videos like as soon as they come out, like thing on your phone and stuff. So. Uh, this is what we're looking at. Just lots of no entries. No trades are open. No trades are pending right now. So later today, it'll just be a reset the charts and closing the spreadsheet out, making a new one, and stuff like that. So yeah, have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.